day. And if she does this, make sure you guys give her a really big round of applause for doing a good job this afternoon. Maybe she needs a little encouragement, don't we all, to go to the gym? Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're younger than me. Same age as me. Asha. Bamboo. Mama. What is it, Akara? Okay, baby, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's the other one. Is this water sanitary? <laughs> this whole elephant area is just massive. It's basically where we're going is we're going up to the top. The, when they redid the elephant exhibit, and they put them back here at the back of the park. One, they made it huge. Ginormous. Ginormous, lots of acres for them to roam around. So they're not cooped up, cooped up like many people think they are. But Oklahoma City has one of the best elephant, elephant exhibits. And actually, when they built it, they built it to uh, um, have babies. Oh, there they come. And they actually took two. Was it two elephants they took in? Yeah. From that zoo in. Is it uh, Oregon? I think it was Oregon. No, I think it was Springfield. Oh, Springfield? I'll have to look. But we took in some elephants because they were getting rid of their program. Aww. They love. It was just, let me just look how massive this area is. And even goes further back to the other side. It's like a waterfall. <laughs> Stop watching them pee. Oh, weirdo. <laughs> but it just keeps going and going. Even on the other side of this building that we're about to go near, there's tons of other yards for them. <clears throat> I love it when they're playing in the water. I know. I've always wanted to see one like spout water. <laughs> I didn't feel like the entrance is that close. <laughs> Here's the waterfall. Huge waterfall. This is where I would be on a day like Me too. I'd be sitting in it. There's another elephant yard. I hope the walkway keeps going now that they're doing all that construction. I think it might be cut off. Oh, we missed this whole... This is the new nursery and the holding area. Oh, huge. I think this is where we're going to get to go. So this is our new, the new home. So the nursery, or the maternity stall is the, is it that top one right there? I think it's that one. That orangish color. And then the community stall is the yellow one where they're all at. Which is right here. It's huge. Like All right. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. <laughs> it is closed off, so you have to walk back through. All right. So welcome to the Elephant Farm. My name is Amy. I'm one of the full-time elephant keepers here. First of all, please raise your hand if you're 
bear with me. I have a little allergy thing going on. So at any point you can hear me, just shout. And I'll be sure to answer all your questions. So we have three of our female Asian elephants in the barn currently. They are on the right side. That's some safety rules. As you walk to the barn, you'll see that there are these yellow lines. When you're in the center, there will be a big yellow square. We ask that you stay inside of that square. So you can take all the photos, all the videos you want. So if you come up to that line and you want to take a photo, we ask that you don't stick your camera across that line. The other side of that line is elephant trunk space, which means they can and probably will go after anything that crosses that line, including small children. So we want everything to stay back. Um, if the little one is ever out of the stroller, someone just needs to be holding her. Um, and then when she goes up for the interaction, someone has to hold her instead of the stroller going up as well. So yeah, it's pretty informal. If you guys have any questions as we go through, just shout it out and I'm here to answer them. So yeah, any questions? All right, so you can follow me this way. Early, so as they get 
smaller, it's easier to see the top of them. So this morning, believe it or not, they all did have a bath. That's really important for us. It allows us to clean them off and see all parts of their body. They don't sweat like you or I do. So in order to cool themselves off, one of the things they do is they cover themselves with mud and a lot of debris. So that's sunscreen and bug repellent. They do get pretty dirty, so we just want to make sure we get a good visual assessment of them each and every day. So inside that mouth, the very back, you can see they only have four teeth. So what you're seeing, that's one full tooth. Full grown, it's the size of a brick. So when you have teeth that big, you don't need very many. They have six sets of those four, so they grow like conveyor belts. So right as one's about to fall off, another one is already in its place. And then the females don't have those big ivory tusks that you might think of with an elephant. That's African elephant. Asian elephants and females have modified incisors at the base of their trunk. We do have one male here, his name's Condole. He's 15 years old. You might have saw him outside in that habitat. But he does not have those big ivory tusks. He's a strong species. Is she 3,000 pounds yet? Not yet. So she's 2,300 pounds oh, okay. at this point. So she's not even 2,500. Yeah. Before you know it. What's it feel like? Upper little pad. <laughs> so cool. I'm like, I just want to pet you. Come here. <laughs> they hate you. You scared them away. Oh, they're like jelly. <laughs> oh, look at this one. That one looks mean. I don't know about touching him. He looks pissy. Look at him. He's just waiting on you. Right, sorry. <laughs> I know. I've always wanted to do swim with the stingrays on my cruises. How much is that? Three hundred dollars? <laughs> no, it's like seventy-five. Depends. Oh, he's pretty. Bit. True, it's probably why it's there. So I think we're gonna sign off for the day. It's Thanks for joining us today. On our Le Oklahoma City Zoo Adventure. The Oklahoma remember their commercials like more to see from A to Z at the Oklahoma <laughs> City Zoo. So yeah, anyway, um that's all we got for you today. Um stay tuned for future vlogs as in June in about fifty two days. I'll be on the MSC Davina mm -hmm. without Megan. I offered, but you know. Priorities. And then also some vlogs coming up with the Norwegian Epic. So pros and cons of my experience and the studio tour. Uh, everything in that aspect. So yeah. See you guys. Bye. Bye.